everyone had fun yesterday. I did. Even though my team broke the rope in tug of war and I fell on the ground. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool that we got rain today. Um, I know that a lot of upperclassmen wish that we were doing break in the chapel, but this is the safest way to do break so that we're all spread out. So yeah, let's start break. Uh, we do want to celebrate our athletes and wish that they are dry in some of their last games. So let's have uh, field hockey and water polo tell us about their uh, senior nights. Volleyball. And volleyball, sorry, yeah. Okay, awesome. Just wanted to let everyone know that tonight at four on the lower field, field hockey is having our senior night. Yeah. So please come out. Sydney on their final home game. Yeah. Um, okay, also tonight, volleyball will also be having their senior night. Um, so, yeah, um, it's at 6 o'clock, um, so it would be great if some of you guys can support us in um, not our last home game, but it's our senior night this home game. Um, it's me, Ezzy, and Jade. So, Water Polo Senior Night is next Tuesday, and um, we haven't had great attendance at our games, and we'd like it if this one time we could have more people cheering us on than the opposing team. The senior class is now going to tell you about an opportunity for a Halloween dance. Hi everyone, so for those of you who don't know, the senior class plans a Halloween dance every year, and that's usually on the same day as the costume parade. So this year the Halloween dance will be next Friday, Friday October 29th, from 7 to 10 p.m. And tickets will be five dollars each, same time or same price as homecoming, and it'll be the same place too in the commons. And uh, soon we'll send out a song request form, and so it'd be great if you guys can fill that out. Yeah, we won't be having a DJ for this dance, so we're really relying on your song requests to make up the majority of the songs played. Um, there will be food, games, and music, so please come out and support the senior class. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of seniors, here's Ben to tell us about senior participation at Fall Fair. So the senior class has a very fun booth and we are doing pie in the face. So we will have plates with whipped cream and you can throw pie in your friend's face. But in order to do that, we need volunteers to be the ones getting pied. So it'd be nice if we can get at least 12 people. I think that'd be like 20 minute shifts. And we also would like faculty. It's very fun for students and I bet it'd be a big money maker if we can get faculty in it. Because I know some of us would like to pie you. So <laughs> uh, Heather Galanata will send out a form soon on your email. So check that and sign up. Thank you. We are a community of creative thinkers and problem solvers. And to show that, here is Mr. Martin to talk more about Fall Fair. Is there a problem? I, I don't see a problem. Uh, so the, the, uh, the Fall Fair is moving forward, but we have had a few changes. Um, we're, we've shifted the location down to the campus. Uh, we're drafting a map of booths and activities as we speak. So what I need for everybody to do, I need one representative from each vendor at the Fall Fair to meet me at the very beginning of activities period uh, for a short 10-minute meeting uh, where I'll have information packets for uh, all the necessary knowledge about setting up and taking down and things that you will need uh, whether you're serving food or whatever it is you're doing. So if uh, everybody could 
have one representative at that meeting at in my upstairs art room classroom, that would be great. Uh, when you're planning for a event like this, uh, there are a lot of moving parts, so we want to adjust our supplies for a slightly smaller crowd. Let's be realistic. It's going to be um, exciting. Uh, and, you know, maybe you've got some warm, warm food, warm drinks uh, for people who would prefer that kind of thing. Please, if you're setting up for the booths uh, on Sunday, arrive early. We're going to need a little bit of extra time. Uh, you're going to, you know, maybe have surprises, like you need an extension cord or something like that. You're going to come to me and, and uh, I'm going to supply it for you, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So don't show up at 1030. That's just not acceptable if you are the point person for your booth. You have to arrive before 10 so we can uh, get everything organized. Um, it's going to be a, a lot of fun, guys. I think there's a, a great spirit just like there was yesterday. Um, we're going to rebrand it. It's a, it's a celebration of rain. And we hit the jackpot. We got the perfect day for it. It's going to be coming down. We're going to be safe. We're going to be warm. You're going to dress for it. And um, I mean, let's be honest. We need the rain, and um, I think it could be a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I, I look up at the sky, and I'm grateful for it. Um, there is lots of creativity amongst this group that have gone into this. I would really hope that, that you get to see it. Um, it was going to be a fantastic basketball tournament going on, and it may or may not be in this room, but it, either outside or inside, there's going to be great food, um, a lot of entertainment, including two bands, a classical music performance by Justin. Hannah is going to sing, Miss Turkey's Dog is going to do all sorts of tricks, and the jazz band will perform last at 2 o'clock under the tent. Um, I'm grateful for everybody who, oh, and, and the faculty band, oh my gosh, and a dance performance. Um, and uh, there'll be cool merchandise to, to uh, try on and possibly buy, um, lots of games, and and great, um, great food. We've got we've got Mexican, we've got Japanese and Chinese and American hamburgers and stuff. So everything you could want, guys. Um, come and check it out. It goes from 11 to 3, and uh, I'll see you there. Thank you. <laughs>
If all of a sudden in early November you're planning on starting a new independent activity, you should also fill out a, a form for that. And then finally, who remembers? Out of the three seasons in a year when we have health and fitness, how many must you be in the program? Two, right? So there's an option on this form so you, for you to choose to express like this winter season could be the season that you're choosing not to be in any activity. In any case, please fill in this form by Monday and I wish you all happy health and fitness. Thank you. So we will exercise our big gray matter in Ms. Williston's uh, discussion on our math competition. talk about tonight's cafe night is Nayeli. Okay, so just one final reminder that tonight is gonna be cafe night. It looks like we are gonna have to have it in the library, but that's okay, we like the rain. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be six to nine tonight. It would be really cool if you guys could come hang out. Thanks. Uh, more spirit updating our red, black, and orange week are uh, SB and Camilla. Yeah. Um, first, just a quick look, clarification about Mr. Martin's meeting today. It will be at two in his room if you're a leader of a club or a booth. Yeah. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day on the sunny hilltop. So we're going to announce the official red, black, Orange Week schedule starting on Monday the 25th. On Monday the 25th, it is going to be class colors. Do you want to you know yeah. class colors? Um, seniors will be blue, faculty is black, hold on, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, what, oh, she got him. Okay. Um, juniors will be green, 10th grade is going to be orange, 9th is going to be yellow, and 8th grade is going to be red. 
Okay, and on that same Monday, you can complain about your class colors later. On that same Monday, we're going to be doing a dodgeball game. It's going to be 8th grade and 9th grade and 12th grade versus 10th and 11th grade here in the gym, I believe. And then on Tuesday, it is going to be the famous red and black day, in which, similar to yesterday, you're going to dress up in red and black. Um, and it's going to be another dodgeball game, the winning classes against each other. Um, so Wednesday is going to be a late start, so bring your pajamas, we'll have pajama day, and there will be pumpkin pie and apple cider for you guys in the morning at 8.45. And then during lunch there will be a dodgeball game, it will be the winner of Tuesday's game versus the faculty, so please be ready. And Thursday, the day after the seniors meet the faculty, is going to be, so if you don't know, October is Cancer Awareness Month, so, or Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so Thursday, we're going to ask you guys to dress in a color representing the battle against a certain cancer. Um, um, breast cancer is pink, so, and then there's, and then there's also going to be a pumpkin pie carving, or a pie carving, a pumpkin carving <laughs> during lunch. There are going to be two pumpkins per grade, so. And then last, on Friday, we'll have a costume parade during lunch, so please dress up in your costumes. And we'll be having a trick-or-treat first period, and the faculty will give you a little treat and candy, so please come and please dress up. Thank you. And let me clarify about the trick-or-treat. Uh, you're welcome to, faculty will hand you some candy if you're costumed uh, on that Halloween Friday. Uh, and if the teacher is not uh, providing candy, don't worry, there are trick-or-treat stations on campus for you. So Mr. Key is excited to present the results of the first annual Red and Black Spirit Day. Here he is. so much fun yesterday. Um, the energy, the excitement, so thank you to everyone. Um, I had a blast. I hope you did too. But as I said yesterday, it is a competition. There was a winner. Um, so I will show you that in a second. But first, I wanted to just give out some special acknowledgments. Um, so at Cornhole yesterday, Peter and O'Sheen had two holes in one, and in the professional uh, Cornhole world, that calls two airmails. That's pretty, that's pretty incredible. So Peter and O'Sheen, congratulations on that. the faculty said Trevor and Isabella um, to hit it were um, just full of spirit. So thank you for that to both of you. <laughs> Lots of great layups, um, but some special acknowledgement to Asia and Jacob so for their basketball. <laughs> So at the uh, volleyball marathon, there was one team, black team group six. Um, so that's uh, Savannah, Jacob, Bodie, Dominic, Ryan, Faith, Haven, Regan, Nathan, uh, Joseph, and Adam. So that group. Um, didn't have one of their volleyballs drop the whole time. So that's pretty impressive. Thanks, guys. And I won't read off all their names, but it was a red team and black team group one who broke the tug of war rope. Yeah. So, um, so now we don't have a tug of war rope, but that's all right. We'll just, so. Okay, so I know it's probably hard to see, but I will go quickly through these results. I've done it by competition. All right, so Speed Jeopardy, Red Team 1, 100 to 60. <laughs> Disc Golf, Black 1, 845 to 795. The Spoon Relay, the Notorious Spoon Relay. Uh, Red won that 43 to 40. 
Tug of War and then other made up games as we went through the afternoon. Um, Black won 50 to 30. The volleyball marathon, Black won 3,447 touches to 2,990 touches. Black also won Speed Cornhole, 510 to 494. Basketball layups, Black won 83 to 69. Speed Spelling, Red won 143 to 140. Right enough. The final relay, Red won, they got 250 points for that. It was close though. So here are the final totals. Black one. 5,174, 4,914. All right, Red. So you're now on red and black the whole time you're here as a student. So next year, Red, you'll have to come back and try to turn this around. So congratulations, Black. All right. was rigged, Red should have won, yes. whatever, it's fine. Um, I, I, I just want to bring the light to light how different like the weather is. Yesterday was really hot and now it's rainy, and I'm really happy that it's rainy. It's my favorite kind of weather. Um, I like the way the rain sounds, but also it makes studying aesthetically pleasing, so that's a plus. Um, but enjoy the rest of your day out in the rain. I know there are some games playing today, including mine, um, so if you are playing out in the rain, uh, be careful, you might get a cold, sorry about that, but win, we'll try. <laughs> so thank you and go to class. <laughs>